Um, I, I just thought I'd quickly show you something. I've, I've bought something today. It's, it's just down here. I figured I'd just share it with you. It's a little, uh, little thing that's going to help me with my postage. Bought the Dymo label printer. This is going to save me so much time, so much effort. I'm not the best with my postage process at the moment and I need to improve it. I think he is going to be a big game changer in that aspect. So I'm pretty keen to use him tomorrow. I never thought I'd get excited with that sort of a sort of an item. It's um, pretty boring and mundane, but um, I'm actually pretty wrapped to finally have it. So I thought I would share it with you to start this episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a really good weekend. Uh, it's been a pretty good week for me. There's been a number of sales. I'd say it's slightly lower than what it has been of a standard week, but the numbers have still certainly been there, which is good. I'm gonna take you through all of those. I'm gonna show you nine of my best sold sales items this week. I'm also gonna do another featured reseller of the week as well. And then we're gonna look at my sales numbers just to let you know how I'm going. Uh, good, bad or ugly. I'm always gonna bring you those numbers. So let's get into the episode. It's gonna be a big one. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get started. First item of the day, guys, is a fantastic item with a great profit. It was the Silverwood Buffet table that I picked up uh, just a couple of days ago. It was Monday, I believe. Um, now, this one I have sold before. If you've watched my previous videos, the Silverwood Buffet sold for $650 last time I had my hands on it. Now, I went to Casuarina, I picked this one up. I paid $125 after negotiating a price down from $150. And uh, I got back home and I listed it for $650. Didn't get any nibbles within the space of 48 hours and I got in patient probably not needing to get impatient but i did and i dropped the price down to 590 dollars now there were 10 saved searches on this one so i knew there were a lot of people looking but i thought if i dropped it down to 590 i would get somebody finally buy it and sure enough somebody did somebody said that they would take it i went and delivered it straight away uh, and they actually paid me a $20 delivery fee. So this one has sold for $610, guys. And like I said, I bought it for $125. So we've made a $485 profit on the second Silverwood Buffet table that I've been able to pick up off Facebook Marketplace and resell back onto Facebook Marketplace. So I love to put furniture at the start of my videos because it really just highlights the point that there is a lot of money to be made in the furniture space. It is about 50% of what I do when it comes to reselling, uh, so the, the profit that I make through furniture. Um, and if you aren't in the furniture game already, um, definitely jump into it. Just give it a go, one item, see how you go. There are always, always, always big profits to be made in this space. And hopefully the Silverwood can prove that. This next item is an item that I picked up uh, just before a trip to the thrift episode about two weeks ago. If you watched that, you would have seen that this Sega uh, mini console system was picked up off Facebook Marketplace for $75 I paid for this one. Um, now it was a good pickup because eBay was telling me that there was a few comps there for about $200. Um, this still had it all wrapped up. It was in the wrapping, it was in the box. It was in pretty much as new condition. Uh, the people in, that I obviously bought it off, they, they said that they hadn't played it too much, if not ever. Um, so it was hardly used. Um, I've gone ahead and put it back onto Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it sat around for 16 days, but I finally got a sale yesterday on this one for $150. So in effect, I've doubled my money, turned 75 into 150 in the space of 16 days. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, did get a lot of traction, a lot of views, a lot of saves. A um, few people that put some low ball offers in. I held firm at the 150, um, but I did also have it up on eBay for $200. And uh, I think I've got about 750 views on this item on eBay. Uh, with about three saves at the $200 mark, but it didn't end up selling. So um, there you go. There's a bit of traffic out there for these sorts of things, the Sega Entertainment Console System, but um, happy to get it done on Facebook Marketplace with zero fees and put $75 in my pocket. Next one up is uh, something that I really love to resell all the time. I pick these up in op shops um, pretty regularly. It was the Gold Coast Titans uh, football jersey. Now, I picked this one up for $4, uh, incredibly low cost, which is generally the way you pick up your jerseys. Um, I try to sell them between $30 to $50. This was a genuine item for sure. Um, nothing wrong with it. And I've gone ahead and I've listed it up for $45 uh, free postage. And that's exactly what it sold for. So $7.20 for postage. We take out some fees for eBay. Um, this one sold in the space of 32 days and I've made a $28 profit on this one. So uh, a pretty cool result there. You know, not uncommon to make yourself $25 to $30 selling jerseys out of a thrift store. Um, this was just a really good one. It was in good quality condition. Uh, it was a size medium, which um, you know generally you'd like it to be large or extra large. But um, to come away with close to $30 for a single item of clothing, I, I always think is a pretty good result. 
Next item was one of my eBay sales throughout the week and uh, I was pretty happy with this because I paid just $3 for it in the op shop. It was the ASICS GT3000 women's running shoe, this one. Um, now I sold it for $49.97. Uh, the postage and the fees, you rip all that out of it. I've made a $33.27 profit in the space of 26 days. So I like to always do $30 for shoes. That's sort of the profit that I like to make on a single shoe. Um, so that was a pretty good result. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, the GT3000 is sort of the top of the range of the GT shoe range. But what I will say with regards to just shoe reselling is it's a great thing to do to when you're just starting out. I think if you walk into the op shops and just beeline yourself towards the shoes, just pick out the brands that we all you know well and truly know and, and give them a go. They're an easier item to take photos of, a relatively easy item to list as well. So I think it's a great place to start. There's some really good money to be made on a very low investment. Um, three into a $33 profit. Um, that's just unbelievable. Now I harp on about this brand in my trip to the thrift videos just because I personally love to wear it and I love to resell it as well. It's a good brand, it's RVCA and I sold a pair of RVCA jeans that I bought in a thrift store. Um, now I bought these for just $4. Uh, these were a very good quality condition pair of jeans. There was nothing wrong with them which is a key factor when you're buying any form of clothing. You don't want to have any damage obviously not, uh, at all. Um, these ones sold for $43.95. Postage of fees, profit of $27 for a single item, I think is a pretty good result. Three weeks this one took to sell and um, the RVCA uh, brand is just a very sought after brand, I find. Um, you know, just people that are a little bit younger, uh, it is quite a trendy sort of surf and skate brand. Um, so do get your hands on it if you find it because it does go on to sell pretty well. Love finding a bit of nostalgia when I'm out in the thrift store and I found this set of Goosebump books uh, in the thrift about, well, what was it, 26 days ago now. Um, this one was a great find because I know that it goes on to sell pretty well. Didn't have to do any comps on this one, I just knew prior. So picked this up for $20, I paid up for it. Um, there were 20 books in there, so in, in effect I've paid a dollar a book. Um, these have sold for $74.97 on eBay. So postage, uh, I sent it the other day, it worked out to about $15. Um, the fees are about 10 bucks. So my profit for these set of books has been $30. Um, but look, a $75 sale for a set of books, the, the Goosebump range is, is definitely one to be on the lookout for, for sure. Um, they always sell pretty quick, 26 days. You know, when you're talking books, is, is quite a quick turnaround, uh, I think. So uh, that was just a cool little find. I always look for the Goosebump books, but this one was actually in its box set as well. So it even had the uh, the box around it too, which which meant that it was gonna go for a few more dollars. So to sell it for 75, I think is a pretty, pretty good result. Like I said, guys, I love my jerseys and I managed to find this New Zealand Warriors uh, football jersey. This was a 2004 jersey, so starting to get a little bit on. Um, but this one was bought for just $8 in the op shop. Picked it up on Tuesday, I believe, and it only had a next day sale on it for Wednesday. So a very fast sale. This one sold for $49.97. Um, I've paid postage and fees on this one and it ended up coming down to $28. So much like the jeans, much like the other pair of running shoes, I'm averaging about $25 to $30 profit per item on these sorts of things and uh, I think that's a really good good result so um, yeah again jerseys just a fun one to find it's, I think it's really crucial when you're in the op shops to just find the items that you personally enjoy buying yourself if, if you're not looking to resell and you were just to buy something if there's a certain brand of, of clothing buy it to resell it because you'll get more enjoyment in the process of reselling. So I'm a big fan of sport of any kind and I always look for the jerseys just because I'm personally interested in it. And I think that's a really big key when it comes to the enjoyment of reselling is to sell the stuff that you like to personally buy yourself. Next item up was a, another Facebook Marketplace pickup actually. It was the Sony Home Audio System that I picked up. It was a CD player, um, Bluetooth capabilities, all the rest of it. So it was a good comp item on eBay and I had to go and pick it up. Uh, I paid $30 for this one. The comps were telling me it was around about the $100 plus postage mark. That's what I listed it at. And I ended up taking an offer this week on it uh, for $85 plus $20 postage. So $105 uh, came through. We took out the fees, we took out the postage. We've made a $41 profit here on what was a pretty outdated piece of electronics, but the Sony brand has held up for some profit here. Um, this one sold in the space of eight days, so it was a really quick turnaround. Um, probably could have held on for the $100, no doubt. I think it would have sold, but um, to still make the $85 and get the $41 profit, I, I still think that's a, an okay result. So eight-day turnaround, do look out for those sort of things when you're on Facebook Marketplace because uh, they can make you some money. 
another item that I bought just yesterday in the op shop. And, and I'll run to really kind of have a bit of a chat about this. So I've sort of just changed my tactics a little bit. I need to source more items. So I've taken myself into the op shop with the purpose of just simply looking at DVDs and books. And I actually wanted to sit down and scan on eBay and see what you could actually return from certain books and DVDs that normally I would never look at. And I've come across this item here, which is a set of 11 Barbie classic DVDs. Now, these were scattered through the wall of DVDs that this uh, op shop had available. They weren't you know, blocked together. It wasn't a box set. I had to go and sort of search for them once I'd found a couple and ended up pulling out 11 of these out of the uh, out of the bookshelf so I looked at the comps on these and if you've got bundles I mean if you've got one it'll sell for two dollars but if you've got a bundle you'll actually make a few dollars on it so I didn't know that prior I personally don't do a lot of DVDs I don't do a lot of um, you know books as well but I'm really gonna start to try and buy more of it I've put these onto eBay for forty dollars and that's exactly what they've gone ahead and sold for and the person that's bought it is in the suburb that I used to live in so just around the corner I'm gonna go and hand deliver them and not pay any fees on it it's literally just around the corner so free postage fees of about $5. I've made basically a $30 profit on a collection of DVDs that I paid just $5 for. And I was really happy to see that sale come through yesterday because it was me going into a space that I hadn't previously bought in or, or sold in before. And this one sold within the space of just three hours. So maybe I could have put a few more dollars on it, but I was just really wrapped to see a sale come through by me just simply making the switch in my mind to go and try something different. And I'm really gonna try and start to source more items now in the books and DVD space because it's a great easy thing to list. It takes two seconds and you do get some sales from it. There's certainly money to be made there. The, the local op shop that I go to sells all this sort of stuff for about 50 cents. So to get these items for 50 cents and sell them for sort of 10, 15, 20 dollars, uh, that all adds up over time. So awesome result here, Barbie Doll DVD collection, do look out for it. So they were my nine highlighted sales of the week that I wanted to show you guys. And hopefully you got a bit of enjoyment out of those. Hopefully you can find those same sort of items and, and make the same sort of profit. That's why I try to bring you these videos. But we are at the point of the episode where I do like to highlight a featured reseller of the week. I learned so much from you guys out there in the community and it's awesome to connect with you guys, especially in the comments below. And I have gone through last week's episode and I've picked out a lady uh, who's doing some great things, not only on YouTube, but in the reselling world as well. And her account Account on YouTube is Dollar Doctor Jennifer. Now I'll put all of the details for Jennifer's channel below in the description, but she's doing some great things and she's had a recent sale that I wanted to highlight. Uh, it was an item that I personally look for and I personally sell myself, so there was a bit of connection there. But it was a pair of Vans, and uh, while it is just a pair of Vans, and they and she made a sale for this one of fifty dollars, I was really impressed with the way that it came about. She actually bought this off the same platform that she sold it on, and it was Poshmark. She bought them for fourteen dollars because they were just incorrectly listed and she saw the advantage in the fact that they were just so uh, at such a low price and she's gone ahead and she's bought them and she's resold them back onto Poshmark and she sold them for about a $35 profit so just a really cool little story there a really nice pair of Vans shoes with the cherries as well um, I just really enjoyed that process of seeing something taking the opportunity and then getting the reward for it so well done Jennifer um, she's got over 100 subs now on YouTube she's putting out reselling content um, do go and give her a follow like i said the links are below and um i thank you very much jennifer for tuning into these videos uh, it is very very much appreciated um if you wanted to be in any of these episodes uh, moving forward over the next few weeks, um, just let me know in the comments below, what, what are you selling out there? What's what's selling well for you? Um, give me your best sold sales item of the week in the comments and I'll sift through them and uh, and pick out one that I think is, is one to highlight. So go ahead and do that. If you wanna be featured, um, you know what to do. All right, so we're up to the point now of going through my weekly sales figures. And like I touched on at the beginning of the episode, it was a slightly lower week in sales for me, but the, the profit that I ended up making was still pretty consistent to what I've normally done. So let's jump into those numbers. I'll give you a bit of a look at how things are traveling for me at the minute. Um, I've been able to sell 20 items this week, which if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you'd know that I do typically around 30 items each week. So a little bit less than normal, but um, the, the cost of goods was $330. My sales though were quite high and obviously the Silverwood Buffet has a really big play in those numbers increasing. Um, so it's gone up to 1,266 and I've profited $935.23 with a profit margin of 74%. So look, we are here at uh, Sunday morning. So generally I pick up two or three sales on a Sunday. So I'm hoping that that profit can tick itself over $1,000. 
which is really where I like to be on a weekly basis. If I could be hitting that $1,000 in profit, uh, I talk about it a lot. That is my goal. But I've also just recently put out a few videos around what my goals are for 2021. And they are a lot more far reaching and they are actually a whole lot more than $1,000 in profit. So I've really got to get a wriggle on now that we're a week, a week into this year to really start to buy more and to really start to up my listing average per day. Um, I'm personally doing about 250 listings every single month and I'm making about 130 sales every single month. And those numbers are resulting in about five and a half grand on a monthly basis. But for me to get to where I wanna be with $100,000 in annual sales, I really need to level up and get my listings up to around about 450 listings every single week. So that's quite a large increase off what I'm currently doing. And it's going into the DVD section, it's going into the book section and buying those items in bulk that I wouldn't, wouldn't normally do otherwise, that's really starting to see an increase in what I'm listing and what I'm buying on a weekly basis. So I've, I've done that this week for the very first time and I've started to list 15 a day, mandatory, 15 items every single day, no questions asked. And I think I'm going to start to see an improvement in my sales figures as a result of that over the next few weeks. So I'll bring you those numbers obviously as I do, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm really trying to level up from averaging about eight to 10 listings a day to 15 listings a day and buying more inventory. And hopefully the sales will come as a result of it. So look, I'm not disappointed by this week at all. A thousand dollars, awesome. But let's let's start to see, you know, 12, 14, $1,600 profit weeks because that's the only way I'm gonna get to a hundred thousand on an annual basis that I keep talking about. And I really do think that it's achievable given the position that I'm in to be able to achieve that. So hopefully you'll be able to see it documented over these next few months, um, getting towards that sort of average of about eight and a half grand a month. So that's everything for today. Um, it's sort of a, an okay week, but um, hope you've had an awesome week. Hope you've had a heap of sales coming in. Um, do let me know how you're going in the comments below. I always love to interact in the comments. Um, so leave that below for a bit of a chat, but uh, I'll leave it there guys. Been a fun one today. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Look forward to seeing you the next one. We'll do a Tuesday video and I'll look forward to catching you then. We'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.